Hello and welcome to the channel. My name is Matt and welcome to F1 Manager 22. Uh, without further ado, let's just kind of jump right into it here. I've started out playing this game a little bit, uh, playing as Mercedes a little bit here. Uh, but given the previous couple of races in the Formula One season, I think a lot of everybody's inspiration to play this game is because of one team only and that is Ferrari. So let's do the very unoriginal thing and see if we can save the prancing horse. It's not going to happen. All right, first order of business. Uh, we're supposed to have a season kickoff party. Let's just approve that because we need every little bit of morale increase that we possibly can. So let's continue to the race weekend here. Well, of course, we got to do our post Bahrain testing results. So top speed and acceleration is third, respectively. I wonder if we can begin any development on any new parts here. We can. Beautiful. All right. So if we were going to do some quick compare and contrast, um, the big things that I'm concerned about immediately are top speed and acceleration. And it already appears that we're basically identical for the most part here. Uh, looks like Red Bull has got just a tiny bit of additional top speed with DRS. So I wonder if we should work on maybe just, yeah, the engine cooling, making sure our reliability is good. So I think we'll work on side pods potentially because I think the side pods do actually increase top speed as well. Um, so let's take a look here. All right, so I know I'm not going to get this immediately or anything, but I feel that uh, 1 and 10 is probably good start for the side pods. I know I'm not going to, you know, it's going to take a while for them to be developed. Uh, big point here is that we're increasing our engine cooling quite a bit and increasing, well, rather increasing drag reduction. So, um, yeah, I think we'll try to keep it on a pretty normal development here. Maybe, I don't know, two engineers. All right, are we going to guarantee anything? Okay, reach Q2. Um, I'm going to say reach Q3 because that's where we really should be. Um, targets, finish position. No, we don't really need fast slap. That's true. Yeah. I'm going to say we got to get Q3. I think that's going to be a pretty easy target to hit. So let's go for that. Practice one. I mean, compounds, we're probably just going to go for recommended softs there. Don't really know what the car setup is going to be like, so we're just going to leave it as is. And uh, just see how this one works. Okay, so we're P2 and P3, which is great. Um, 31, 32 laps, and only a tenth and five tenths away. So great, 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 great. So I really want to get that fix there. So it looks like the front wing and rear wing angles are going to be the ones that are going to increase and decrease that. Okay. So we're going to try that. The front wing really doesn't seem like it was going anywhere. So we're going to try a little bit of a different one there. How's our setup for this one here? Ooh. Ooh. That's got a lot of fixing to do. So we're going to try to, with this one here, we're going to try to more average it out a little bit. So taking some of the highs, bringing them down. I, I would love to keep some of these stats, but I don't know. Um, but yeah, there there's some things that we really got to work on. Both the traction and the brake stability. We got to figure those out right now. So let's go to practice two, see how we do. Okay, we're leading by a tenth, and we've got Carlos almost identical to Verstappen. Perfect. Setup confident. Ha! Ha ha ha! All right, let's let's take a look at what Carlos has got to say then. So what we got? Okay, that's still not any much better. Okay, so this is going to get us a little bit closer. Like I've seen earlier, we're going to average some of these parts out. Bringing the highs down and bringing the lows up. So we'll just simulate this one as well. 
At a 96% for Leclerc, I'm, I'm not going to worry about him. Yeah, he's he's got it by two hundredths. And science is down to tenth. So we're at so 97 and 74. All right, that's good enough for me. When I did this before, uh, I could not figure out the timing at all to figure out how to, you know, when we should send people out, when we shouldn't. Um, and I was also trying to screw around with the run plans. Um, so including flying laps and cooldown laps and uh, additional fuel. So I think I wanted to do like two flying laps and additional fuel. <sighs> Take that back. I trust Leclerc. I trust Leclerc. I don't... Maybe not necessarily with Carlos. So I'll just do two flying laps and then some additional fuel. I also trust them enough that since we're so high in the standings as it is, that we don't need to send them out right now. Because we got fresh softs. We don't, we don't want to screw those up. Okay, Verstappen's out. So we gotta at least put in a lap or two here, just to make sure that we got something. So then we'll do the same thing with, uh, signs, just get something out there. Gonna leave it on automatic because I don't... As you can tell, I'm grasping at straws here as far as my technical knowledge goes, which is... Uh, my brothers would find that humorous. Um... I struggle with setups, I struggle with uh, fuel plans and, and car parts and whatnot, so this has just been a really good learning experience here in general. So at the moment, we're in Q1. Gonna refuel. Yeah, we gotta call that car in. Yep. This is gonna be close. I think I, think I screwed up signs. I don't know if I gave him enough time to refuel and then send out again. Yeah, because we need enough time to actually post a lap here. We're still in... We're still in, uh, Q3 territory, which is a good sign. Um... But yeah, it looks like here, this is a good learning experience. Ooh. Okay. So we're gonna go Q2. So we only really had time for, like, one flying lap. So I'm gonna put it towards the end of the session. Because uh, unless if I send out literally right now and have them take like 20 minutes to refill and yeah. Okay, so if we're sitting here. I think we got to send Claire out. So he should be in some free, free air here. And that's good. So I think we're going to wait for signs just for a little bit. Can see if we can pop him out after Perez. So Perez is going to come down. Uh, maybe after Bottas. Let's see if we can slide right in here. It's going to be close. Perfect. 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 Okay, so they've got a lot of open air there. Yep, they're as fast as. Beautiful. Yeah, but. Here's the point where they all come out. Here's the point where they all come back out. Who's running wide there? Let's take a look at the replay. Let's have another look. Science is the focus here. Ah, oh, signs. Dear. That's far wider than they Damn it. Q3. Bingo. Look at that. Okay, we're gonna really cut it close. Okay, who do we want? We're gonna send signs out now. Oh, he's gonna be neck neck with Russell. Bummer. And I think we're going to send Leclerc out now. Yeah, because now he's got absolutely clean air. Perfect. What are we gonna get?
Beautiful. Nice. Yeah, but let's see. We're stopping us down by a hundred. Yes. I feel like this was uh, what happened to the actual Bahrain Grand Prix anyway.